There's been a consistent balance between home seller supply and home buyer demand in the greater Vancouver housing market over the last year. In other words, neither buyers nor sellers have an inherent advantage in today's market. Let's look at three factors that drive the housing market. They're demand driven by home sales, supply driven by home listings, and home price. In terms of sales, there were 2,641 homes sold in the region's MLS in March. That's up 12.5% from last year, yet 17% below the 10-year sales average. In terms of listings, 5,281 people listed their home for sale across Greater Vancouver last month. That's up 9% from March of last year, and nearly 6% below the 10-year March average. All totaled, there were 14,472 homes for sale in the MLS in Greater Vancouver today. This is the third consecutive month this figure has increased, so there's an increasing number of homes for buyers to choose from. Now let's look at price. When we break it down by property type, we see that detached and condominiums have increased around 4% over the last year, while townhomes have increased just over 1% since last spring. I'd like to introduce a new segment to these video updates called The Realtor View. Each month, The Realtor View will highlight specific insights or trends our realtors are seeing in the market. This is perhaps not captured within our monthly MLS statistics. With balanced market conditions in place now for roughly a year, the importance of identifying the right price is paramount for both buyers and sellers in today's market. Properties are more likely to sell quickly and offers are more likely to be accepted when the price is in line with the local market trends. To do this, you need to understand what's happening in your neighborhood of choice. To illustrate this, we see how a detached home in East Vancouver sits at nearly $887,000 today and that prices have increased nearly 8% in one year. When you examine it at the neighborhood level, you see prices ranging from $720,000 in Hastings, nearly $1.15 million in Fraserview. Prices in Fraserview have increased nearly 7% since last March, while prices in Hastings have seen little to no fluctuation. If you were to list your home or make an offer on a home in these areas, understanding the difference in these trends could be a determining factor in whether you're ultimately successful. Pricing a property right is the most effective way to get it to sell. The best way to understand local pricing trends is to consult your local realtor. For further housing market information, go to the News and Statistics section of this website. For the Real Estate Board of Greater Vancouver, I'm Ray Harris.